Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Mukund. I'm the co-founder of Heckel. Uh, Heckel is into the space of data analytics, uh, real-time structured and unstructured data. Uh, Heckel is based out of uh, Mumbai, London, New York, Canberra, and Singapore. So we talk about data explosion, and data is something which is known to all of us. So what are the typical things that are happening? Data is growing. Everyone is analyzing data. A lot of data is being produced, and the data is changing. And there's a lot of structured and unstructured data. So what do we do with it? Typically, if you look at it, now we have introduced a new level, which is called as a Bronto byte level from the Yota byte level. Because data is growing, and there's no definition to how much data will really come. Let me give you an example. Uh, typically, IoT is at 1% of data creation today, which means that there's 99% more of IoT data which will come. So if you have to assimilate this data, which is across sectors and across dimensions, and put it onto a single platform, how would you essentially measure it? Now, you as business leaders, you know, and you as users of data, how would you like to really measure different dimensions of that? So what are the business metrics that you like to calculate? How do you do that? So Heckel essentially has grown from news analytics to price analytics to fundamental analytics. And now it has put up all these things along with open data sets. Open data sets are primarily data sets which have been kept into lockers either by governments, corporates, or individuals even, which are unlocking now the power of data, which we are consuming through open data APIs. Uh, we also have uh, our first customer who continues to be our customer over here, Angel, who started with news analytics. And over the years, we have been able to grow systematically using the power of data and are launching FIND. FIND stands for Financial in News and Data Platform, which essentially means that we are consuming data across different industries. So today, we have got six sectors which are live. And I will be quickly demoing to you uh, one of these sectors, which will bring you how data is really perceived, which is really split across different areas. So today, if you look at what are the top 10 therapies that are there, and how is the growth? So oncology is there, which is the biggest. And this is for global. right? How big is the healthcare market? $8,200 billion market is there. And out of which, pharma, if you look, is only $1,113 billion market. How is the generic versus the patented market growing? What are the litigation upgrades? What are the upcoming events which are there? You can look into diseases. And certain facts which are there are really different than the one which are perceived by us in terms of how the market is really. Like top companies by drug sale. You can just click on this Pfizer. Like China has the highest prevalence of Alzheimer. You can just click on Pfizer and get into the company level now. So you're looking at a global level, you're looking at a region or a country level, then you can get into the com company level also. You can look at the insights, what are the drug stats for the company. So what are the top five drugs by revenue? What is the last drug that was launched and how much revenue it is making now? What is the revenue by geography? What are the last stage pipeline? Now, we all know the importance of all these data points because they are not available on any other platform. We go across thousands of sources. We have our own data structure, which has been created by bringing all this data, which is unified and which is presented out here. That's the idea of creating, essentially, business matrix, which you can compare. So if you want to just look at the operations, how much of revenue is being earned, how much of R&D expenditure is there. We can look at all these data points in a, in a flash. And I'll show how, how does the different parameters compare for a peer-to-peer -peer comparison on, on a business metrics level, which I was talking about. So how do we compare all these things, R&D expenditure? So these are the parameters which are very, very essential for any business owner, for a CXO level category person. What is the type of users who are there? All the CXOs would be requiring this data to do a comparative study, essentially. Fund managers, hedge funds, pension funds, financial institutes, banks, they all need to understand where they stand in the peer-to-peer -peer space. Similarly, we are building the world's biggest litigation database out here, which means that we'll have all the litigations. We also have the news, which is there. We capture all the news. 
across uh, 200 markets which are there and we cover for all listed companies as well as unlisted companies. We have one of the best tagging system which virtue of which you can just click let us say on legal and you can get all the legal tagging done. At the same time you can just click on any country and you can get the country stats for that. You can look at the central bank, you can look at the key indicators which are there for that particular country. Now one of the points which I mentioned across was the business matrix comparison. Now let me give you a case example. If the GDP of China is growing, the population of China is growing, the mobile penetration of China is growing, how is the revenue for the mobile subscribers or the mobile companies, how is it growing? And is it any way related to let us say the music download which is there? So how much of music is being downloaded? These are different parameters which a business would like to really compare. Now that is what we do. I'll just show you a loaded screen directly over here. These are the comparisons which are there for Apple, Spotify, and this is the Vodafone per user revenue which is there, the average per user revenue. These are the metrics which are being compared. Now if you really want to compare any of the metrics, business metrics, this is the compare screen which you'll use just to find out the correlation between known and unknown data sets. I'm Mukun, co-founder of Heckle. Thank you very much for your time. Have a good day.